Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, kind of excited to get out here. This is a maiden voyage. Um, a lot of questions, you know, a lot of guys ask me kind of what I go through breaking the Yamaha in, you know, just getting the boat ready. First of all, this is a new hull uh, for me, Skeeter FXR20. Uh, you know, kind of excited to get out here and, and uh, get it broke in and stuff. But really the first day to me is all about, you know, getting some hours on the engine, breaking it in, getting all of my settings. I do have a few rods set out. You know, I want to fish a little bit, but there's just some fine adjustments, uh, you know, settings. I may tilt the units. It just, it's just getting everything ready uh, before we're even fishing. But, you know, the key thing is, is to break the engine in. You know, I, I use this engine all year long and then whoever buys it's going to use it for years and years and years to go so i want to break it in right uh you know the way i do it you know first of all you need the first thing i do is uh, even if a dealer you know if my engine goes through a dealer is check the oil you want to make sure the oil is good and then you know throughout the year i'll check it every uh week 10 days just to make sure everything's good uh the first hour on the Yamaha, you want to keep it under 3,000. We literally just put in and we got to idle out of the no wake zone. And the first hour, you want to keep it under 3,000 uh, RPMs. So really the first hour, I don't want to fish. I kind of want to get that first hour done. And then hour one to two, you know, it's three to 4,000. What I like to do is vary the speeds. I don't want to just go 3,800 you know, for an hour. I want to vary it. I'll even shut down, take off. I just want everything to be moving. And then uh, hours two through 10, you know, it's just, I don't want to keep a constant speed. I can run, you know, full blast. I just not going to do it very long. I just want to vary the speed. You know, I don't want to even keep that same 3000 or 3500. I'll go up to four, five, back down to 45. You know, and that's whenever I start doing a lot of fishing because you can honestly get a lot of the break in done just as you're fishing uh, to save you some time. So, you know, we've been idling for a while. We're going to run, you know, a, a while, probably this first hour. And then we're going to stop, fish, kind of start. And I just like to go through the front of the boat, back. Uh, you know, everything's wrapped, everything's rigged, everything's like I want it as far as the you know the nuts and bolts part of it but we're just gonna we might make some adjustments just make sure everything's good uh for the season so first of all we're going to run for an hour 45 minutes or an hour and get this yama all ready to go during the break-in process especially under the first two hours you don't want to get a lot of trim. You want to keep it down. Like I said, under 3,000, but vary the speed. It, you got to get to about 3,000 to get it on plane. And then it's just varying the speed. What I'm doing now is just going on a cruise, just looking at the lake, watching my RPMs. And like I said, about every two miles, I'll shut down, take off again. All right, so we've done the first hour, and, uh, you know, the weather's nice, and I went ahead and decided let's just get the, the first two hours knocked out. The first hour under 3,000, and then under uh, 1 to 2, you know, we kind of varied that. So now we're at two hours. So what we're going to do is I can just fish. Uh, I, I can run. I got the hiccups. I can run. I can do whatever. I just want to vary the speed. So we're literally going to... Just probably start right here. And I kind of been messing with it as I've been driving. You know, I got a lot of my combos set up. I got my my quick keys, my settings, a lot of this on the console pretty much dialed in. Uh, you know, and it's just going through the whole boat, making sure my aerators work. One thing that uh, you want to do, a lot of people don't think about, you want to get your navigation lights out and make sure they work. 
Uh, there was an instance once where we went to the first tournament and I go through takeoff and one of my lights isn't working because, uh, and I never tested it. So, you know, we'll test a lot of that. But make sure your aerators are working. Make sure your units are reading right. Uh, make sure they're sourced right and all of that stuff. And, the, you know, the big thing for me is since I, sent, I spend most of the day is up in that front, you know, and I'm still kind of getting used to where everything is going to have its place in this boat. You know, of course, my rods will be, you know, on the port side and a lot of stuff. But, you know, it's just as simple as where am I going to put my phone? You know, where am I going to put my keys? Where am I going to, uh, you know, put my Sharpies? All of that kind of call system, you know, all of that. And, uh, you know, one thing that we're going to do, and I actually already done it uh, before I left the house, is you want to, you know, set up like my... Uh, charge you know to my phone power poles all of that stuff set up link my phone and my iPad to my units you know it's there's a lot of things that go on and and rather than doing it you know kind of the trickle effect I'd rather just get it all done that way uh, it's time to go fishing and I can start worrying about kind of getting back in the groove uh, on fishing but yeah just getting everything linked All right, so now we're on the bow of the boat. You know, a lot of this stuff I've already done. Uh, you know, you got, you know, we got video out how to calibrate the uh, the trolling motor. There's a couple of calibrations there, but it's it's just getting all of the units. First of all, this is a different setup for me. You know, I usually run a double stack with one off to the side. You know, it's just getting uh, used to all of that, and it's the little things. You know, my quick keys. I have everything set up. You know, this is my fishing one. It gets number one, you know, that right there is the, uh, the right height off to the side there. That, so that one, and this one is, is the one that I hunt with. Actually, I just saw one. Maybe not. I thought I saw one. But anyway, you know, I, and getting everything, I see one thing I already, li I already don't like. You know, I always run my active track uh, in black. You can just see it. So it's just making these, you know, these little bitty adjustments, making sure uh, my power pole switches work. Uh, you know, the the toggle here for the right height, just make the turret, just make sure it's in the right spot. All of that stuff, just getting, you know, just just really getting used to it and uh, and getting it all set up. One of the cool thing here is the that we got on the new software update is the live scope heading notice here on the on the trolling motor when i turn it it actually so if you're sitting here looking at the unit you don't have to look at the arrow you can see kind of where you're pointed notice that one's pointed that way and the turret's pointed toward the right so you know there's new things that happen like that that you know i want to play with uh when i get out here get them set up you know making sure all my cables and stuff have enough slack in them that when I turn both, you know, the shaft and the turret, that there's no, you know, there's no bind. You know, getting a new boat is awesome. I mean, I, you know, that's something I look forward to every year, but it's also a process. You know, you guys have seen the wrapping, the rigging, uh, had a cover, a cover built for it. Um, you know, and then you come out, you break the engine in, you get all the settings right, and then it's time to go fishing. So, um, you know, that process is honestly a two, two and a half week process from the time, you know, we start rigging to wrapping the boat, the truck, getting everything ready, breaking the Yamaha in, then it's just time to go fishing. So, you know, I hope this helps you. Um, there's a lot of videos that we have that are specific to what we've talked about, you know, calibrating the, the trolling motor, the settings on the console, the settings on the bow. So, you know, you can go back and look at those. But as far as now, we're, we're pretty much ready to fish. And, uh, you know, the season starts soon. So, boat's ready to go. Now I just got to catch some. So, I appreciate you guys riding along.